What's going on guys, Stefan here from AppStuff and I am super excited to introduce XPro Plus, a production ready social media application that gives you everything you need to build a scalable platform just like X that can handle millions of users at scale. As an X meta engineer myself, I've built and scaled real world social media applications at the highest level. And now I'm bringing that knowledge straight to you. So we are going to be diving into a demo of the application shortly so that you guys can see exactly what you get with this product. And right now the source code for this is currently for sale on my website at stephancodes.com. The link for that is in the description guys. So go ahead and check that out. So as of right now, it is just the source code available. The courses for this product will be launching later this month. The free version will be on YouTube first and the paid version will come in about two to three months. So right now, like I said, guys, that is just the source code, which you can check out here. When the courses come out, those are full video tutorials that break down how to build every feature in the application step-by-step. Step. The YouTube version of that will be a free version that covers the basic features and the paid version will cover the full feature set. And if you wanna check out some of our other Pro Plus courses, we currently have Instagram and Messenger Pro Plus available. And for those of you who don't know, I've been saying Pro Plus a lot. If you're wondering what that is, you can get a description here. So this is for people who are serious about building apps at the highest level that can scale to millions of users. So whether you're trying to get a job as a senior engineer, or you're trying to build and release your own app that can handle that kind of user base, and uh, have that full feature set, that's what Pro Plus is for. That's why the price point on these is a little higher. To give you guys some context, when I build apps like this for people, it costs anywhere from 50 to $100,000. So with whatever you're paying for this, trust me, you are getting a great deal. And that's what I bring to you guys here at AppStuff. So without any further ado, man, let's go ahead and dive into a full feature set of the application here. So we are gonna be starting off with the authentication features of the application here, guys. So we see here that we have both Google and Apple authentication. So here I can sign in with Google, I can sign in with Apple, and I have standard email and password sign in as well. And we also have a full create account flow that will guide the user through an account creation process. We have full form validation. So as you can see here, if I enter my name, and if I try to sign up with an email that's already in use, we have like user authentication here as well with like this uh, verification process. We can see that the email is not valid. Um, if I try to sign in with a username that is already taken, that won't work either. So uh, those features are super, super important when you are building an app where users can authenticate, right guys? You don't want people signing up with duplicate accounts or duplicate usernames. So that is something that is available in the application here as you can see it working there. So next up, um, guys, I'll just go ahead here and log in with uh, an account. So let's see, batman at gmail.com. Go ahead and log in and that will direct me to my user feed. And here I'll go ahead and show you what the Google sign in flow looks like. So I'll sign in with my Google account and you guys will notice that that Google auth directs me to the feed as well. So before we jump into the feed guys, you can see here that this is my account and this is Batman's account. So we have like a full user account and profile system. Each account has its own unique data. Uh, you can see here that we have this incredible sort of filter for looking at the user's content. So these are all of the posts that this user has made, all of the posts that user has replied to, and these are all of the posts this user has liked, right? And then here we also have empty state logic. I currently on this account have not made any posts. And as we can also see guys, we can edit our profile. Um, I could change my header image. I can change my profile image and I can change my bio, my name, all of that good stuff. I can view the people that I am following in this sort of user list here. Um, and I also have a settings page that just gives me some information about my account. I can view people that I have potentially blocked. That's another big feature that we have here is blocking and reporting, which we'll get to later. And we also have the ability to log out of the app and delete our account as well with those alert confirmations. So super, super cool there. So let's go ahead and jump back into the user feed, guys. So this feed is populated from posts of people that we follow. 
So that's a super important feature in any social media application. You want the user feed to be populated with relevant content, right? So here we can also see that we can post images in the feed. We can like posts, we can reply to posts. We'll get into that in a little bit. And we also have video posts here, guys. Uh, this was a really cool feature that I added. We can uh, add uh, videos just like you can in Twitter, play them and pause them as you can see there. And uh, the feed is fully paginated. So that's a massive performance optimization there. So we don't load all of our user feed data at once. We are actually loading this in chunks so that our performance is optimized there. So that's a massive performance optimization that we get here. And um, there's full backend implementations for that using Firebase and all that good stuff. So next up, we can also view the details of a post and that's where we can also view the replies. So let's actually find one that has some replies. So right here, we can see that this post has three replies. If I click on it there, we can see that the replies load here. And right now we are sorting this by the most recent replies. So you can see the timestamps there, guys. And just like we have in Twitter or X, uh, we can sort this by the most liked replies. And you'll notice that that then sorts by the most liked replies there. And we can sort back to the most recent replies. So that's a super cool feature that I like there and just helps the user view different reply types, which is super cool. Uh, we can also navigate directly to the user's profile from that post and view all of their profile content there as well. And you can navigate to the post detail from the profile as well. So a bunch of generic and reusable components within the application here, guys. And next up, we also have the ability to follow and unfollow people. So pay close attention here. If I unfollow the Joker and I go back to my user feed and I refresh it, and scroll down, you guys will notice that all of the Joker's posts are gone. And if I go back to the Joker's profile, here is the explore view of the application, guys, where we can look at a list of users. So if I go to the Joker's profile and I refollow him and go back to my user feed, you have to trigger a manual refresh as I'm as you do in Twitter as well. And I scroll back down, we'll notice that the Joker's posts are back in our user feed. And that is all handled using server side functions, which is also a massive performance improvement there, guys. We're not putting all of that load on the client. We are offloading a lot of the big responsibility to our server, which uses Firebase, uh, so that we can optimize our application performance there. And another really cool feature that we have, just as we do in Twitter, is this little post options menu. So let's dive into some of these features here, guys. We can report posts as we see here. So I could say, I just don't like it. I could hit next. And that will give this, give me this little snack bar notification that says, hey, your report was sent. Um, I can also go here and I can unfollow or block the Joker from here as well. So guys, check this out. If I unfollow the Joker there, I get a notification that says you unfollow Joker. I can dismiss that. And guess what? If I refresh my feed, boom, all of his posts are gone. It's uh, that simple, that smooth. We go back here, we follow him and we do this, all his posts are back. And next up, one of the most awesome features of this app is the ability to block the Joker. So guys, if I go here and I block him and keep in mind, this is a requirement for any application submitted to the app store that has that is a like a social media type application where users can generate content and other people can see that content. So if uh, I try block him there, we'll get a notification that we blocked him. We go back, we un or oh, sorry, we refresh our feed. And guess what the Joker's posts are gone. And check this out, guys, if I go over to my user uh, list and refresh that, you'll notice that the Joker no longer shows up in that list. So that blocking feature is fully functional. You won't see that user show up in any searches. You won't be able to see their content in your feed. They won't be able to see your content in their feed. And it's a full blocking system, guys. And like I said, that is a requirement from Apple for apps like this. You, they will deny your application if you don't have the ability to report and block content. And all of this stuff is what you get with the Pro Plus tier of our applications. 
And to unblock the Joker, we could go to our settings page here, go to blocked accounts, and I hit unblock. And it updates back to my empty state. And you guys will notice that now, like if I go to say like my notifications page, I get all those notifications back from the Joker. So that brings me to our next feature, obviously, which is our notifications feature here, guys. We have notifications, both in-app notifications, as we see here, and push notifications that are that use the Apple push notification service. So you get notifications when someone likes your post, replies to your post, or starts to follow you. So this is the notification from myself from this application that I started to follow Batman. Here is a notification that the Joker liked one of my posts. Here is a notification that the Joker replied to one of my posts and we can see the reply right there. And uh, that is a full in-app notification system, guys, that is super, super awesome. That keeps users up to date with how their content is being interacted with. And like I said, you get push notifications as well. So last but certainly not least, we have a full integration of our Messenger Pro Plus messaging system inside of this application. So if I go here and go to my conversation with Batman, so let's check this out. Let's say, hey dude, how is the demo going? And send that, we got, we notice we, it updates immediately there. I also get an unread message badge down here. So if I'm not currently on that tab and I get that message, I can say, oh, hey, cool, I have a message. Click on that and you guys will notice that that status immediately updates to red. So we have message statuses there, which is super, super cool. And let me go ahead and show you guys what that would look like. Let's say if I'm on the feed, hey, testing badge stuff, right? And hit send, you guys will notice that pops up right there and I can go ahead and see that. And once again, pay uh, attention to the delivered status there, guys. As soon as I look at the message, it gets updated to red. And we have that same notification uh, system for the notifications. So. If someone like likes one of my posts, um, I will get a notification badge popping up there immediately so that I know someone just interacted with my content. We can also delete messages here, guys, um, and we can search for messages. And uh, this is, these messages are paginated as well. We have message timestamps. Um, the scroll functionality is absolutely beautiful. So we can scroll here. It uses the new iOS 18 scroll view APIs that have some awesome new features. So this is fully built to work with iOS 18 guys, which is another awesome fact about this application. And we can start new messages with people. So I can go and like message Tom Brady. Hey Tom, you're the goat. Message, go back. And that shows up immediately back in my conversation list there as well. And this is actually the last feature. Guys, we also obviously have the ability to create posts, right? So I go here and I can then add a post, right? So I could say post for the awesome demo and I could even add some media to it, right? Like, let's see what we got. Let's just do like some random image here, right? So that image will load. We could cancel out of that and we could say, hey, I didn't want that one. Let me maybe add this one and I hit post, there's a loading indicator there to say, hey, this process is ongoing. And then a notification to say, hey, our post was sent with that little snack bar or toast. And then if I refresh my feed, guys, look at what shows up right there. The post that I just made as that user, and I can like that. And I also have the ability to delete posts if I am the author of that post. So that's gonna wrap it up for the feature set of this application, guys. There is some more stuff I plan on adding things like polls and maybe some other little features that Twitter has. And you guys will get lifetime access to this application uh, with a purchase of it at any time. So the more features I add, the more the price goes up and getting in now will guarantee you guys lifetime access to this. You will be added to the GitHub repository for this for life. So you guys will get access to all future updates. So uh, if you guys are interested in uh, learning how to build all this stuff, you can check the source code out yourself and start diving into it. That will give you a prorated discount on the course when it comes out. Or you guys can just wait for the courses to come out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video if you guys wanna see more content like this and more applications like this. Uh, and you can check out our existing courses as well. And if you guys sign up with us and become a member, you can get access to all of this stuff as well. Only lifetime members get access to Pro Plus content. I'm thinking about changing that in the future. Uh, let me know what you guys think. 
there is just a lot of value in these pro plus products like i said guys i make apps like this for people that cost over 50 grand to build so giving this stuff away for 40 bucks a month is tough for me to do i don't know if that makes sense but um i do want to bring you guys the most value possible so let me know what you think there uh leave your comments with your thoughts on this um i'm super proud of this product man it took me months to build this and i'm excited to get back to filming um i did just move to tampa so that's why i've been a little bit mia um if anybody is here in tampa and wants to link up let me know but thanks for watching this video guys and like i said make sure you subscribe to the channel like this video and check out the website at stephancodes.com there's also a new website coming which is going to be super awesome and I'll be showing that off when it's out later this month. Um, shout out to 17 Mile Media for helping me get that built. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.